Alright. Zionism Criminal Activity 101. Number one. Central banking. There are people still in this day and age that don't know what that is. And that is the <laughs> name of the central problem of everything that's on the news. Everything. Every economic discussion can be traced back to the criminal realities of the central banks of Europe and the United States. Central banks. That's a bunch of Jewish banking magnates who stay nameless, contributing their initial money, this was when they first started them, to loan out money to governments at interest. Initially it's real money. If they get any of it back, the interest on that pays it right away. Then they start to make phony money. All right? And they stay as an institution to be the go-to for the governments for free money. And they even work it out to fool, <laughs> fool the people of the nations that this is their real currency for their country. And they print them out with, you know, the George Washington or the Queen of England on there saying it's real. At first it was backed by gold. Old dollar bills said redeemable in gold. It doesn't say that anymore. Because the gold's not there. In essence, every central bank steals all the reserves of the nation, which then makes the nation dependent on this phony money scheme. Because if it actually broke down, people would freak to realize that money really... If all the people realized that money is a joke. That it's the monopoly money and money that you have in your pocket, there's no difference. It's not backed by anything but a lie and a game. The Federal Reserve of the United States is owned by shareholders that do not give their names, but researchers that have put themselves in peril have gotten some of the names out. And they are all Jewish investors from Europe. Essentially, European banking investors own the United States. Jewish European bankers of the United States. They're not, they're not American. They, representatives of these investors used to be American, like J.P. Morgan. But they work very hard at keeping that a secret, and they probably changed them. And it's the same thing with the Bank of England. Whenever Congress asks who the shareholders are to become accountable of their activities, they say, no, it's in the charter that we can stay anonymous to keep our dealings unobstructed <laughs> by criticism. That's their argument, that, you know, if every little transaction that they make is scrutinized by the news, it would interfere with their business and the confidence of their, <laughs> their lendees. So... Congress approved this in 1913 in the great old Federal Reserve Act. No, it's not for anyone's benefit. It's not to stop bank runs and panics, because what the Federal Reserve Bank does could be done by the Treasury. What's the difference? You're printing money. You're deciding how much money's printed, and you're not telling the people. Why, why can't the government just be as unaccountable as an as a independent agency? The Federal Reserve is a fraudulent criminal bank. It's, it's, it's a criminal crime. It, it is the cause of everything with regard to money problems, recessions, depressions, booms and busts, and the stock market. That who, you don't have to be a genius to figure that out. Selling shares of a company and just, just printing shares. Oh, there's more shares, there's more shares. Oh, there's ten shares of a company, there's a hundred shares, there's a thousand, there's a million. Oh, there's a million investors that own shares in the company. Oh, there's two hundred million investors. <laughs> no. With all these people supposedly having a say in the decisions of the company, none of them do. None of them do. So, it's worthless. But people buy it as if it has value. And that's the colossal joke of everything, is just people believing in something, whether it's a religious name or a bank note or a stock or a bond. Something that's worthless. 
is put out there by a Jewish magnate who laughs at you. And that's not to say that all Jewish people do this, but it just so happens, and this is in the words of the ADL, that it just so happens these people are Jewish. All of them. Every single one. This can be traced back to a Jewish magnate. A Zionist Jewish magnate whose interest is in the state of Israel, the creation of the state of Israel. That's a whole other video I have to be really careful about starting that off with because they know the world knows what that is. But it's the way they say it. They portray it as if they went there as peaceful immigrants and they were attacked and they were simply forming militias to defend themselves and push came to shove and they had a war and they just happened to win. And then they wanted to create the state of Israel and take all the land away from the Palestinians that attacked them. And oh, they wouldn't have taken the land away from the Palestinians if the Palestinians didn't attack them and terrorize them when they were just poor Jewish immigrants on the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're supposed to believe that that's the truth when you can trace back all the Zionist conference before that that their plan was to go into Israel and take everything. And that's what they're doing. It's a plan of extermination, point by point. And you can see the map of Palestine as the areas governed by Palestinians shrink, shrink, shrinks, and now these little dots of green in the wide field of red, which is Israel. The Zionists did this with their free money. They made this free money with these phony scenarios in Europe of the, the European Union Central Bank, the Bank of England, and the Federal Reserve of the United States. These places make phony money and give it to the government in interest. They bribe all of the politicians who vote on this. Every politician in Congress, whether it's the House of Representatives or the Senate, the President of the United States, his cabinet, everybody is paid this salary, which is huge anyway, and then they're bribed with about 20 times that. All of them under the table or in their campaign finance moment, they're just given money to say what they want them to say. And it happens on both sides of the discussion. It's a joke. Republicans and Democrats don't hate each other. It's no different than WWF wrestling, where the pro wrestlers just kind of let the other wrestler uh, body slam them for a crowd wow. It's no different. They're all on the same take from the same bankers, and they balance it out to make it look like Republicans are dominating this year or Democrats do dominating the next year, and it's all a big gag because they set it up to look like it's real, and it's not. <laughs> it's just not real. The only thing that's real is the stupidity of people and the ignorance and the widespread ignorance of people that don't know that this is the bedrock of all of it. This is the soil that all these plants grow out of, is this lie of the central banks that are run by Zionists. They're laughing at the rest of the world. And it's really speculation how far it's gone. You know, people that really go far with it say that China was conquered by the Zionists, but, you know, behind Mao Zedong, that he was just a front. And he, they were all funded by the Zionists to make China a communist country so that they could have slave labor. And that's the whole point of it. And same thing with Russia. They were simply funded uh, by the Zionist banks. Because you can imagine how much money you would make if it was free. If you were printing free money and just giving it to your friends. And the people that complain about the entertainment industry, uh, with television and the media being owned by Jewish men, that's because when the bidding came to buy the companies outright, uh, they were just given loans from the Federal Reserve because they're Jewish to outbid the competition. So it wasn't their money. They just had the money to buy the television station or the film studio. You ever notice how some of the, not all Jewish directors are good? They're not all like Steven Spielberg. We got some J.J. Abrams out there that are horrible, <laughs> and they're just allowed to be great big director people because of their ethnicity. And, you know, normally Jewish artists are brilliant, but sometimes they're not. <laughs> but they're given money anyway. So the guy that's directing Star Trek now, we have to deal with this horrible director. All of us Star Trek fans have to deal with this guy who's ruining Star Trek just because of his ethnicity, and he's no good at it, and they didn't see that coming. <laughs> Hopefully they pull him off the stage and replace him, but the schematic is the same. With him, it was a mix of nepotism. His, his family was already in Hollywood and pretty well established, but that's a tangent. This is a wide subject, but when it comes to the central banks that print our money, it says the Federal Reserve 
banknote of the United States. There's nothing United States about it. Nobody wants this. And if you took that away, we'd have a chance to recover as a country. We'd have a chance to have a country. We do not have a country. And neither does any country in Europe. The European Union is just a big joke. Everything. It's hideous. But yeah, central banking. Look into it. Read, for, read about yourself. Type in, you know, shareholders of the Federal Reserve and you'll find all these disputes about it. And here and there in Congress, we'll have people like Ron Paul that seem to be contesting everything. But that's just to make it look on television, on C-SPAN, like Ben Bernanke, the Jewish head of the, <laughs> the chairman of the Federal Reserve, who's sitting there taking heat from Congress, just like Alan Greenspan did for years, to make it look like Congress is fighting for us. Where they say, the taxpayers, you're using taxpayer money. No, the taxpayer money just goes to the interest on the loan by the Federal Reserve to the government. It doesn't go to bridges and roads or anything like that. All that's paid for with the funny money. The Federal Reserve just gives all the municipalities their free money every year. And that's what pays for the cops and all the clerks and everything. And our tax money from us that just were, is demanded of us at gunpoint goes to the criminals. The IRS is just a big collection agency for the Federal Reserve. It's not in the government pages of the phone book. It's with the private businesses because that's what it is. So these places that pull guns on people in their homes, it's as, it's as unconstitutional and criminal as you get. They are not the government. There is no government except your belief in their lies.